Okay, this fly is one of the more deadly leeches out there. Um, it's a pretty popular stillwater pattern. It's called the California leech. And uh, we actually are one of the few providers for Mike Andresen's dubbing for this fly. Uh, if you don't know who Mike Andresen is, he's one of the, the godfathers of stillwater fishing here in the West. Um, really good fisherman, great guy, um, but he also creates some really awesome material. So this uh, this fly will be using his his blend of of dubbing. Okay, so I have a 3x long size 8 hook. Um, I also tie a lot on size 6 2x long hooks, like an S402. I'm using Montana Fly 3 aught premium thread in rusty brown. And I'll just dress my hook. Um, now you can put a bead on this. You can put lead on it. But my most effective fishing method on this fly is just using a full sink line. So the tail on this, I mean you could use marabou. But I really like using Arctic Fox. So this is like a rusty brown or brown color. And I'll just pick off enough to make a, a pretty sparse tail on it. So I have about this many fibers, and you can see I have a whole bunch of guard hairs. So I'm going to take and really grip the bottom of those tight and pull the guard hairs out. And that's not a completely necessary step, but it will add more movement to your fly. So the, the tail on this fly is going to be roughly the same length as the body. So I've got it kind of measured out. And I'll tie it in up here and then just wrap it all the way back. Alright, and in the tail, I'm just going to put a few strands of crystal flash. So two strands of crystal flash on each side of the tail. So I just have one piece of crystal flash that I've doubled over. Tie it in on one side of the tail. And then pull it over on the other side. And then pull those pieces tight and trim them the same length as the tail. So there we've got our pieces of crystal flash. Alright, now Mike, if you're watching this, this is just a variation. This is, uh, I don't know if this is the exact way that you guys tie them, but this way has caught me a whole bunch of fish. So I'm just going to tie in some wire to secure my hackle with. And now I'm going to make a, a dubbing loop so that I can build the body of this uh, leech dubbing. Okay, now I'm going to build up a body, kind of a sparse body. This, this stuff is really spiky and it will stick out really nicely. So I've got kind of a healthy dubbing loop built up. I'll twist that up and then I'll use my rotary tool to to build that body up. You can see how just really nice and buggy that stuff is. I mean you could just fish that as is and it would be just fine. You can actually pull that dubbing back out of that loop that we didn't use and stick it back in your container and reuse it. Okay, so if you've got a lower grade saddle, you know, something that's not super stiff and wet or, or stiff and dry fly-ish, be a perfect time to use it in a fly like this. So I've got a piece of a saddle hackle and I'm just going to tie that in by the base of the feather. And see that stem where I tied that in? I'm just going to pull that back now and tie that in once over. And then trim the rest of that stem, if I can see it. And now before I wrap this hackle, I'm going to put a little whip finish in here because it, it has the tendency to come undone. Alright. So I'll put 
two wraps right here up at the head and then I'll just kind of palmer this back through. And then I'll catch it with my wire and I'll wrap my wire twice in the exact same spot to really tie that down. And then just kind of wiggle my wire through here and you, you really can't distinguish very well what's dubbing and what's hackle right now. But once it hits the water, it becomes very apparent. I mean, it, it shows up really well. Trim off my wire and hackle. And now I'm going to run a few more pieces of crystal flash down the whole body of the fly. So this time I have two pieces of crystal flash and I'll tie those in going out the front of the fly and then pull those back over and build up a little bit of a head and whip finish. And then these pieces of flash will go all the way from the head to the tail. And they kind of look unruly hanging out the front, the top of the fly like that, but that's exactly how I want them. Once they hit the water, they'll do exactly what I want them to do. Okay, now what I'm going to do is brush the fly out, either with a piece of Velcro or with one of these fancy dubbing brushes. So there you have it. You can kind of see that hackle in there now. Uh, but that's the California leech um, and again you can fish it with a, a weighted body You can fish it with a brass bead with a tungsten bead and you could even fish it like you could tie this on a balanced Jig hook or, or a bunch of different ways, but this color combination is deadly and uh, Big thanks to Mike Andreessen for making such cool dubbing